Have you read the new 2020 consensus guidelines on vancomycin dosing and therapeutic monitoring? Has your hospital or health system begun implementing the new vancomycin AUC dosing approach yet? The new guidelines recommend shifting from trough-based monitoring to using area under the curve, or AUC, with one of two options. The preferred method, Bayesian-derived AUC monitoring using Bayesian dose-optimizing software, or the alternative method, first-order PK analytic equations using two times steady-state levels, normally a peak and a trough, and either hand calculations or a simple calculator. In this video, we'll break down the differences between these two options to help explain the guideline recommendations and to help you make an informed decision about how to implement an AUC-based strategy at your hospital or health system. We'll look at six main categories, prediction accuracy, timing of vancomycin levels, nursing and phlebotomy considerations, education and training, pharmacist time, and cost. Number one, prediction accuracy. The recommendation for AUC-based dosing was made in order to improve patient outcomes, but in order for it to work, you need an accurate assessment of AUC. When it comes to prediction accuracy, the data is pretty convincing. The Bayesian approach is just better. First-order PK equations have to make predictions off of minimal data, and they make assumptions about the rest, while Bayesian software not only uses all the data from the patient being treated, but also leverages data from other similar patients to make predictions. So first-order PK equations are a little less accurate, and following their predictions can tend to make us undertreat our patients. So when it comes to optimizing AUC, Bayesian is the clear winner. Number two, timing of vancomycin levels. If you use troughs for vancomycin monitoring, you know about the struggles with getting an appropriately timed steady state trough. Well, with first order PK equations, it's basically double. First order equations require both peak and trough levels, and if either is drawn incorrectly, you have to throw it out and sample again. The Bayesian method offers more flexibility. Peaks, troughs, even random samples at steady state or after a single dose can all be used to get accurate AUC estimates. Number three, nursing and phlebotomy considerations. In that same vein, that one more sample with linear PK equations means one more task for nursing or phlebotomy, one more uncomfortable poke in your patient, and one more opportunity to introduce infection. With the flexibility of the Bayesian method, these concerns don't really exist. Number four, education and training. Converting to AUC-based dosing is a big change, and pharmacists will need some education on the new practice. With first-order PK equation calculators, you'll also need to train nurses and phlebotomists on peaks, how to draw them, how to interpret them. For the Bayesian method, there's no additional education needed, and some software vendors will even help you train your pharmacists. Number five, pharmacist time. Pharmacist time is precious, and unfortunately, both first-order PK equations and Bayesian calculators have the potential for time-consuming data entry. But with EHR integrated options like InsideRx Nova, data is automatically imported straight from the chart into the software platform, so that becomes a non-issue. Lastly, number six, cost. There are many low-cost or even free options for first-order PK equations. With Bayesian software, you'll need to pay the cost for the third-party vendor. So when it's time to make your decision, you have to weigh that investment against the direct and indirect costs of pharmacist time, education, operational concerns, wasted blood draws, and occasionally undertreating your patients. Every institution will vary, and it's important you make the right decision for you and your patients. If you'd like to see a simple chart comparing the options we just talked about, visit content.insight-rx.com/aucinfo, or you can click the convenient link in the description box for this video.